In the late 1890s, America bore witness to a tragic tale of passion, betrayal, and murder. Cordelia Botkin's life took a dramatic turn in San Francisco, where she met and fell in love with John Presley Dunning, a married man. Their passionate affair lasted for several years until the Spanish-American War broke out, at which time Dunning distanced himself and ultimately chose to reconcile with his wife. On August 9, 1898, a box of chocolates arrived at Dunning's Delaware home, resulting in the deaths of his wife, Elizabeth, and her sister, Lila Dean. Investigations revealed that the chocolates contained lethal amounts of arsenic. Suspicion quickly fell on Cordelia Botkin as the sender. The handwriting on the note accompanying the chocolates matched hers, and further evidence connected her to the purchase of the deadly treats. The subsequent trial unfolded in San Francisco, attracting national attention and feeding the public's appetite for scandal. As newspapers across the country sensationalized the story, the courtroom was filled to capacity with eager spectators. John Presley Dunning's infidelities came to light during his testimony, tarnishing his image as a grieving husband. Despite her claims of innocence, Cordelia Botkin was found guilty and sentenced to life in prison. Her time behind bars was marked by special privileges, which were eventually revoked as her actions and relationships with guards came to light. Depressed and in poor health, Botkin passed away in 1910, aged 56, while serving her life sentence.